Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we cleared the Crown of the Sunken King DLC, and in this episode, we're moving on to the Crown of the Iron King DLC. So, this one can be accessed behind the uh, Primal Bonfire ahead of the Old Iron King boss fight in Iron Keep. So, let's head in here, shall we? And of course, the key to this DLC is the one you find in the Salamander Pit underneath the Forest of Fallen Giants. So, let's open up this door. Many consider this to be their favourite of the three DLCs. Personally, it's my second favourite, but it is still a very good one. All the DLCs are excellent, but yeah, many consider this the best. But again, I don't agree, but opinions. Either way, they're all excellent. And up here, welcome to the Crown of the Iron King DLC. It's beautiful. And I believe this is the Iron Keep before it sank into the ground, so pretty cool. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find any Iron Kings here. Now this thing here is, it was an item, but I already picked it up because I actually uh, tried to record this uh, beforehand, but I forgot to press record. But thankfully I only got up to the end of this chain here before realizing this, and so I went back and pressed record. But yeah, basically there's an item here, it's six smelter wedges, and I will show their use uh, very soon. They're a very important item for this zone, so don't miss them. So, let's head up to the top of this chain here. Welcome to Broom Tower. So, let's get this bonfire. So, first things first, head up here. This, I believe... Ooh. First of all, this thing. Ooh, God. Oh, and I've been invaded by the Forlorn. Well, that's lovely. Uh, I can't really interact with that just yet. I will show you the use of the smelter wedges very soon, but first of all I need to take out this forlorn. Uh, I'm not using my uh, second one. There we go. Almost forgot to cheat world. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus. Stab, 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 stab. I'm not using my uh, steel ring, so keeping him stun locked is going to be a challenge. Oh god, he just dodges out of everything. Stab, stab. There we go. A little bit sloppy, but the forlorn stupid. So these things are... I don't know what they're called, but they're horrible totem things. And they will cast various uh, magics. And this is what you use the smelter wedges for. she was saying, but it didn't sound good. But yes, get the soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. But unfortunately that's only a fragment, so yeah, it can't be consumed or anything. It is but a, merely a fragment. But yes, you use the smelter wedges to and to kill those totems, and I, and I recommend that you do, because those totems, well yeah, you actually need to. If you break all of them, you will be able to assemble her soul, I believe. And also, just in general, it's good to break them. And down here we can get a dexterity ring, which will give us 5 dexterity. So pretty nice. And let's head over in this direction now. Alright, so let's head over here. Drop down here, and there's an item. Old growth bombs, all simple stuff. Head down here, and there's nothing down there, so need to head over here. I admit I may get a little lost in this DLC, because this DLC is very hard to navigate. And here's our main enemy. These guys. They're not as bad as the guys from the previous DLC, because these guys actually don't have infinite poise. So that's good. Get some Twilight Herbs. And I recommend you break all these uh, bodies, by the way, because some of them actually have loot, like that one there, Large Soul of a Proud Knight. Very nice. 
But yeah, I may actually get a little bit lost in this DLC at times, uh, by the way, guys, because this DLC is pretty hard to navigate. Ow! God. But yeah, it's definitely harder to navigate than... Uh... Ouch! Ow! God. But yeah, it's definitely harder to navigate than the previous one. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, there we go. Getting a bit sloppily, but it's fine. Oh, hello. Man, I need to I need to break these guys' poise. I'm gonna equip the stone ring. Hopefully that will allow me to break their poise more effectively. So let's head over here, get a rouge water. And down there is another one of those totems. We need to get down there. Now, one thing I will say, make sure you always have four smelter wedges on you at a time, because trust me, you're going to need them. Alright, let's head over here. But yeah, as I was saying, this place is pretty hard to navigate, so I may get a little lost. In my first playthrough, it actually got, um, it actually got so bad, I actually ended up writing down all the different paths that I could go, because I just got so incredibly lost and just could not keep track of all the different paths. It was so complicated. Hopefully I won't need to do that this time, though. And over there, get a plus seven scythe. Very nice. Uh, nothing around here, I don't believe. Nope, nothing around here. And you can drop down there, but I'm gonna head over here first. Get some prism stones. And anything around here? Yes. There's a chest. No mimic. Open up the chest. Open up the chest. And get a tiny nice slab. Most excellent. Down the hole. Oh god. And this place. Oh god. So this one, what it will do is it will actually uh, cover these guys in ash. And covering those guys in ash will, make, will give them, uh, I think, more poise. I think more damage. More health. And definitely more damage resistance. It's pretty nasty. Oh god. Why did I jump there? I didn't press the jump button at all. Oh god, I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah. Heal. Heal. Yay! Oh my god. These, yeah, as you can tell, these guys are much harder when they're covered in ash. Stab. There. So yeah, all the more reason to break these damn things. And don't worry, you don't just get six smelter wedges, you do get more, and I will show you where to get them. There we go, get another soul of uh, Nadalia. Stab, stab. There you go, see they're much easier without uh, the ash on them, they're much more fragile. I uh, don't think there's anything that way. Okay, I'm just going to head over here a second. I think this is the wrong way to go, so I'm going to head this way. Because in typical Dark Souls fashion, the wrong way to go is actually the right way to go. Ow! Step. Charcoal Pine Resin. And over here, Dance of Fire. Which is a cool pyromancy, I believe. So, good one for you guys. And now let's head over to this door. Only we can. Oh, here we go. The lever. Open up the door. Knock, knock. Open up the door. And I think this way first. Break these, because you never know when there's going to be stuff. Old mundane stones. Oh, hello. I heard you. Stab, stab. Oh, hello. God, they're all over the place. Head over here. Get some Lloyd's Talismans. And I think that's all that's down here. So let's head over the other way. Alright, let's head in here. Open up the door. Ooh. And these guys. Now these guys, what they will do is they will... Um, they carry explosive barrels and they will stand near the fires. Basically trying to bait you into like walking near them but eventually they will yeah 
eventually they will just walk into the fire and kill themselves because they're idiots. It's pretty hilarious to watch them just try and bait you out only to then just blow themselves up. Idiots. Alright, but watch out for all these explosive barrels down here. There's loads of them. And there's these guys as well. Oh! These guys will, um, they have uh, bows they can levitate on the ground, so standing behind cover is not necessarily good against these guys. And also sometimes they will reassemble. But for the most part, they're not too much of an issue. So don't worry about them. Stab you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. God. Yeah. Uh, don't break the chest. Don't break the chest. Ouch. Man, playing really sloppily. Need to up I need to up my game a bit. In here, get Castus plus eight, or Sastus, however you pronounce it. And over here is a bonfire. Sweet blessed bonfire. Now I'm just gonna check over here first. There is a um, fog here. Where does this go? Ah, this takes you out into the uh, bulk of the place. So I think that's the correct way to go, so I'm going to head the other way first. So first let's just rest up, because we're going to need a lot of flasks. So this door... Yeah, you can't open this door yet, so you have to head this way. Oh, there you go. The levitating bows, as I said. It's quite scary. So over here is just this chest, so let's grab it. Twinkling Titanite, very nice. You can never have too much Twinkling Titanite. And that's all there is this way. So let's head the other way. Alright, so over here, uh, this elevator will activate later. But as it is right now, we can't go that way. So we're going to need to wait a bit for that one. And there's vases here, you can break for a bit of water which you might need, because there's quite a bit of fire in this place. And I'm not going to go that way just yet. And I can drop down here if I want. But I don't think it's recommended. And yeah, all these elevators are out of commission. So I'm going to head this way first. Okay, now here is something you've got to do. You've got to shoot these barrels that are explosive, and that will allow you to open the door over there, so that's quite nice. And I'm going to just blow that guy up, and there we go, now we're down on the bottom level of this place. So over here is, I don't trust you, are you alive? No, you don't seem to be. So we can open up this door here, and there's more of these guys. I'm gonna shoot them. Pew! Whoa! Well, that was awesome. It was dangerous, but it was awesome, so I don't care. And get some Radiant Life Gems. And down there, there's another one of those things, which I think, again, will cover them in ash. And there's a big fella down there, who kind of looks like a smell demon. But there's an easier way to go about this than just chopping down there. And it's to go over this way. So let's do that. Over here. Open up this door, which you can now open because you blew up the barrels. And now we can take out this fellow. Oop, oop. That's a trap door. Watch out for that. Right. Um, I think now our only option is to fight. Like, we might be able to shoot these guys from here, but it won't work too well. Uh, actually, it actually sort of works. So yeah, if you want to thin their ranks, you can uh, do it from here. Oh, that's just hitting the wall. Alright, let's go down there. Hopefully I don't die. Oh god. Oh god. Big fellow. Ow. Ouch. God. Fuck you. E. Drink. Whoa. God, even the big fellow gets covered in ash. That's just peachy. Right, take out the small ones first. Okay. Step, step, step. Oh god, die! Yeah. 
Why won't you die? Ah! Jeez, this part's really hard because they get covered in ash and it's so hard to get rid of the thing. Ugh. See you back there for another attempt. Okay, let's have another attempt. Hopefully this time it goes a bit better. Ah. Yeah. Get away, you big guy. Oh god. Step, step. Oh my goodness. E. Man, this part's so hard. These guys are so hard to defeat. The ash makes them so much harder. Yeah. Yeah. Ow, god. Oh my god. This part is hard as nails. Holy crap. Oh, bollocks. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I'm a bit screwed now. Oh, if you go over here, they actually don't get covered in ash. Okay, well, this may actually be the better way of going about things. And also, the uh, smelter didn't come and attack me. Okay, this is actually the better way of doing things. I apologize for my bad advice before. Stab these guys, because I don't want them. I don't want them blowing me up. Get the flame quartz ring plus three. Pretty good one. Right now, stab, 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 stab. There we go. Okay, now we can focus on this guy. Ouch! These guys are pretty tough. They have like delayed attacks. It's pretty tough. Delayed attacks, and they're pretty damaging. And also, they'll be leaking out a fight. How did that hit me? That did not hit me. Nah, nah, again. Come on. But yeah, these guys are pretty tough with their delayed attacks and the fact they're constantly leaking out fire. But they do go down pretty nicely. Ouch. Yeah. But yeah, if you come down this way, you won't be able to take out the other guy. But yeah, this does definitely seem to be the better way of doing it. Because then you don't just get swarmed by them. And there we go. They are down. Thank Christ. Now I just need to take out this guy. Okay, well, he's not presenting himself to me, so I'm just going to ignore him. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Get out of here. Oh, damn it, I used up three smelter wedges. Well, I'll have to find uh, some more, and quick. Right, there. Oh, that part was tough. So yeah, scratch what I said before, coming down on this side, uh, allow on that side, is a um, much better way of dealing with that. Because then you don't get swarmed and they don't get covered in ash. So yeah, much better way of doing it. Although, try and take out that guy because otherwise he'll be pretty annoying during the fight. And I'm actually going to go two-handed for this area. I actually prefer two-handing against these guys. Step, 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 step. Oh man, my... My rapier does like nothing against these guys. Oh, ouch. And these guys do a lot of damage and are quite hard to predict. Get some dried root, human effigy, twinkling titanite, all kinds of goodies. Maybe uh, dual wielding is better. I don't know. I'm gonna just experiment. Now, over here, watch out for that. It's electric magic and it will leave that horrible thing on the ground, which will do big damage. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Right, good. I'm not playing very well right now. I apologize. Oh, God. I'm getting ambushed. E. Stab. Stab. Okay, good. Right, actually, I'm going to go back to two-handing. I'm not sure which is better. I, I, I like two-handing. Two-handing and dual wielding is both good. Step, step, step. There we go. Nice. Okay, now over here, need to head down in this direction. And don't trust these guys. Don't ever trust these guys. Oh, nice. Two hits. Step, step, step. Ow! Oh god. Camera. Camera, please. Plus. Yeah. Camera, plus, plus, plus camera. Step, step, step. There. Nice. I never know when to trust these guys. I never know when they're dead and when they're not. 
Alright, so there's a lot of bodies out here, so let's get breaking them. Oh, ouch! Where the fuck did you come from? Just came out of the goddamn walls. Anyway, get a large sort of a proud knight. Oh! So yeah, watch out for these guys. They are hiding in the walls. Because that's lovely. Oh, item. Soul of a hero. Nice. And another item. Soul of a great hero. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Alright, so now back over in this direction. So here there are two ways to go. You can go down, or you can go, um, not up, but level. I think going down is the correct way, but I'm not sure. And by the correct way, I mean as in the incorrect way, therefore the correct way. Because, you know, Dark Souls be like that. Actually, I think uh, there's actually might be a bonfire the other way. I'm gonna just check. Uh, oh, god. And we're invaded. Maldron the Assassin. This guy is one of the most annoying phantoms in the game. I absolutely despise this guy. Absolutely detest him. And you'll see exactly why. Here he is. He wields a lance. And a second he wields a lance and a shield. And he has good poise as well. And he is so annoying. Ow, god. What you're seeing now isn't even the annoying part of him. Ow. Ouch. God. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, here's the annoying part. He will run down into this hole, which doesn't seem that bad, but there are enemies down here, and also this hole will curse you constantly. It has a curse aura down here. So yeah, and he bloody lures you down here, and he can't be cursed. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. I hate it with every inch of my being. But, we must fight him. So, you just gotta tank the curses. Ow. Oh, oh my god, I'm not very good at this. Eee. I need to consume some life gems, because I am taking a whopping... Oh, no. Thought he was going to attack again. Oh. Nope. Thought he was going to attack again. It looks like he's going to go into a second uh, swing with that. Okay, there we go. He's dead, but I don't think he's perma-dead. Because these guys have a habit of uh, reviving, as I said. Oh, another guy over there. Oh. Stab, stab, stab. Getting a long great bow. Which is quite nice. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Ah. Stab, stab. Stab. There. Good. Oh, here's the guy. Here he is. The assassin. He's right down here. We need a human effigy mid fight. That's lovely. What the fuck? How did that hit me? That did not hit me. Come on. Or was it something else that hit me? It might have been something else. Well, that's just marvellous. Ow. You know what? I'm just Smelter Witch. Smelter Witch. Smelter Witch. Oh, God. He's trying to backstab me. <laughs> Quick, pick it up. Pick it up. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I'm dead for days. Dead for days. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I'll see you back there for another attempt. Okay, I've had to run past all the enemies, but I'm back over here. So, now we can have round two, Maldron. Hopefully this time I can actually beat you, you ass. Come here. Just come here. Ouch. God damn, I hate this guy. Nope, that doesn't work. I hate this guy, and I hate NPC invasions in Dark Souls 2 in general. They just seem, like, generally unbalanced to me. Because, like, if you can't break their poise, it's, like, impossible to fight them. Oh, get back here, you ass. Come here. Come here. Right, you know what? That's it. Come here. Oh, God. Why do the archers have to be so damaging? Step, 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 step. Damn it, I got greedy. I always get greedy. 
There we go. Then now those guys actually die. I think that's what the um, I think that's what the uh, the totem does. And also the curse aura seems to have disappeared, which is definitely nice. And the ash aura. Basically, that totem was causing all the bad things in this area to happen. So absolutely destroy that. It will make things a trillion times easier. Oh come on! How did that hit me? So much bullshit is happening. Ow, 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 ow. Bloody hell. I just want to get to this guy. That's all I want. And if and to make matters even worse, he throws corrosive urns at you. In case things weren't bad enough, he has to break your armor on top of everything else. Do you see why I hate fighting this guy? Right, there we go. He's dead. Now I just need to heal up without dying. Drink. Heal. Stab. 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 Oh my god, I hate you! You're so impossible, I can't break your poise no matter how hard I try. How do you dodge that? I have no idea. There we go, got a bit of damage in. And of course now he's going to run away again because he's a giant pussy. Ah! Step, step, step. Oh! Step. Step. Sorry if I can't talk too much during this fight, guys. I am concentrating like hell right now. This guy is incredibly hard. God, that is so hard to dodge. It like homes in on you and has like infinite range. It's impossible. Step, step. There we go. Got a bit of damage in. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. The PvP in... Well, PvP, you know what I mean. In Dark Souls 2 is so hard. It's unbelievable. Right, come here. Damn it. Come here. Come here. Jesus. Ah. Ah. God. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. This is harder than any boss. Any boss in the franchise never before has one reached this level of difficulty. This is harder than... Ah! My right to my dragon rings at risk. Are you shitting me? Oh, come on. That's impossible to dodge. I dodged right around him and he just turned around and hit me with it. That is BS. You can't say that's fair. You cannot say that is fair. In no way. Oh my god. Every single hit he just rolls out of. Oh my god. That's so stupid. You literally can't do anything against that. And how many fucking Estus Flasks does he have? Alright. He's almost down. He's almost down. Come on. Just need a bit more. I think he might be out of Estus. Step. Finally! That took like 10 years. Christ alive. That is the worst NPC invasion in the game. I don't like NPC invasions in this game in general because it pretty much all comes down to can you stun lock them? And if you can't, well, you're screwed. But if you can, well, easy game. And that is the worst example of that. He is an absolute nightmare and I hate him so much. Thank God it's over. And you know the crazy thing? After all that... It, oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. The lock-on is now fucking me. Oh my God. If I die because of the fucking lock-on, I am going to be so mad. If I die because the lock-on would not target the enemy that was closest to me, I am going to be so mad you don't even realise. I've almost used up all my life gems. Okay, thankfully I didn't die. Thankfully. The fucking lock-on though. It targeted every enemy but the one that was closest to me. And I almost died for it. Anyway, now can I actually say something for once? After all that pain and suffering, you know the crazy thing? It's worth it. 
because in this item, in this item, in this chest is an item that is f fucking, like, it's worth it. The Majestic Greatsword. What's the Majestic Greatsword? I'll show you. So, you want to see the Majestic Greatsword? This is the Majestic Greatsword. It's fucking Artorius's sword. How awesome is that? And look at this. Oh. Oh, no, can't do it. Well, I can't do it because I don't have, um, because I don't have the, uh, stats required. But yeah, if you, uh, have the stats required, you will do all of Artorius's moves. Just like the Abyss Greatsword from the first game. It's awesome. Seriously, when I first came down here, I was like, whatever's in this chest better be damn worth it. And I was like, okay, that's worth it. It's pretty awesome. So yes, there you go. Artorius' sword, that's where you get it in this game. It is in this game, and it's pretty swish. But you will have to go for all that BS just to get to it. Thank God it's over. Right. And up here, I forgot to even get this before, because I was too distracted by a douchebag. But there's a chest. And within it, bonfire aesthetics. Like I would want to use those. Okay, I'll head back across and see you back there. Okay, I am back here. So now we can go through the fog. Finally. And I think you should go through here first, if I remember correctly. Yes, you should. You should go through here first. Because around here somewhere is the sweet blessed bonfire. Of sweet bonfiery goodness. Here it is. Oh. Fantastic. Oh. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Sorry for all the rage in this one, but that part is one of my most hated parts of the entire game, and I hate it with all my heart. But hopefully, for after this, no more rage. Hopefully after this, everything's all good. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.